Hey guys, I am Pranita Reddy from Informatica Support. In this video, we will learn how to create a JDBC V2 connection in CDI. The agenda of this video would be introduction to JDBC connection and driver, a quick demo in IACS on how to create a JDBC V2 connection and summary. What is a JDBC driver? First of all, what is JDBC? JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. And JDBC driver is a software component which helps an application to interact with the database. Okay, and what is JDBC V2 connection? JDBC V2 connection is a connector provided by IACS to connect to the endpoint using the endpoint provided JDBC driver. For JDBC V2, Informatica would not provide any drivers. Drivers the user need to get it directly from the database. Using JDBC V2 connection, we can create CDI assets like mapping, mapping tasks, data transfer tasks, and dynamic mapping tasks. There are a few prerequisites to create a JDBC V2 connection. First thing is, uh, Informatica always recommends using JDBC V2 connection rather than JDBC IC connection because JDBC IC is an outdated version and JDBC V2 is the latest version of JDBC connectivity. First prerequisite is uh, to connect to any endpoint using JDBC V2 connector, you always need to have a type 4 JDBC driver. Any other type would, would not be recommended and is not configurable to create a JDBC V2 connection in IICS. And the second thing is you need to have the below mentioned directory structure that is once you go to secure agent installation directory ext connectors third party informatica.jdbc v2 and common this should be the line of directory structure. And the third thing is the user who is starting the secure agent services needs to have sufficient privileges on the secure agent complete secure agent directory especially including the jdbc driver folder that is mentioned in mentioned above we will quickly go into the demo on how to create a jdbc driver first thing is you would need a jdbc driver to connect to the endpoint right so this jdbc driver you will have to get it from the database endpoint only Informatica will not provide any drivers as such. First thing is we will have to log into secure agent directory and place the driver in a particular path. First log into secure agent machine, navigate to the folder. This is the Informatica cloud secure agent folder. Navigate to this folder and then go to ext there is a folder called connectors and third party till here it is already provided when the secure agent is shipped till third party all the folders will be available but there are two more folders that is informatica dot jdbc underscore v2 and inside it there is a common folder these two folders would not be provided automatically so these you will have to create it manually these folders should be created manually once you log go to this, this should be the path. Secure agent directory, ext connectors third party. Like mentioned before, till third party, it is automatically available. But both informatica.jdbc underscore v2 and common folders should be created. Now, you need to provide all your jar files which will be used in creating jdbc v2 connections. For example, in this video, now we will take the example of an Oracle connection. So this is my Oracle driver that is OJDBC 8.jar. I have placed it here and the user should have all the permissions to this folder. Now we'll quickly log into IACS to create a connection in administrator. Once you log into IACS, navigate to administrator page. One thing you will have to make sure is before logging into uh, IACS and creating a connection, make sure your credentials and your driver is compatible and the test connection should work from outside of IACS. 
this is the best practice so here what i did is i've connected to uh dbver which is a tool that we use here here i'm using uh, this is all my details i've provided uh, my host my database my port my username password everything i've provided and tested the connection now the test connection has worked successfully which means even from iics my test connection should succeed so i'll go to connections click on create new connection and here you you will have to create a new connection that is jdbc oracle connection i'll just go here we'll wait for it to load and once the page is loaded you'll have to provide all the connection details as required so i'll first give a connection name that is jdbc oracle jdbc oracle test and here the type will be not, here please make sure this is not a type of oracle this is a type of jdbc v2 and it is always recommended by informatica to use jdbc v2 rather than jdbc ic because jdbc ic is an outdated version of jdbc connectivity so please use jdbc v2 just click on jdbc v2 here you will have to select your runtime environment this runtime environment should be the same of where your jdbc driver is placed okay first we'll go to jdbc driver class name for oracle we can we know that it, the class name is oracle.jdbc.driver.oraclediver in case you are connecting to any other endpoints please make sure to check with your database team or the endpoint team to get the correct jdbc driver classes and connection string the connection string will look something like this jdbc oracle this will be the host name this is the port name and this will be your service name here i'll provide a username and and a password now try testing the connection in case of any doubts in connection string or driver class name you can always refer to uh the pages uh, for example this is an oracle page i'm going to official oracle documentation to check if at all you have a service name your database url that is your jdbc url will be of certain type and if you have an sid and not a service name the url will differ so just go here check see the test connection is successful just save this connection and now this is ready to use this is how we create a oracle jdbc v2 connection in iics there is a reference documentation provided in the description below please refer to that for any queries and we would love to hear feedback from you if let us know if you like this video or not please reach out to us at email support videos at informatica.com and you can also tweet us at our twitter handle infosupport thank you